Hey everyone, welcome back. This video is in continuation with the uh, GitHub repository management playlist. Uh, if you are new to this channel, I am Kavilo Koparkar. I am a content around open source, DevRel and cloud native ecosystem. So let's get started. In this video, we are going to primarily focus on GitHub issues. Uh, I know you might be already familiar with GitHub issues, but uh, today I'm going to tell you the features you can use to make your GitHub issues elevate themselves and eventually help you uh, in making your project better. So let's go ahead to the GitHub repository. So uh, if you go to uh, issues and they like you might be knowing all these features and you might already be using them but uh, one of the cool features you can use with issues is issue templates and it is not at all hard so let's go ahead and see so if you just go to dot uh, github uh, folder uh, if you don't have it you can create dot github folder and create an issue template it's case sensitive so make sure you uh, add it in the same way and go ahead and this is the learn.yaml so uh, whenever i am trying to learn new things i create an issue with this template and that gives me this small checklist for uh, each issue so i don't have to create uh, copy paste the dot uh, md format for uh, all the issue uh, or this issue over and over again and this really helps me uh, in uh, maintaining uh, uniformity with all my issues so i can just use this uh, template so this is one template this is one of my uh, learning uh, repositories so that's why it has uh, this learn.yaml but if it's project like this one then uh, it will have uh, different types of uh, uh, issue templates uh, says that bug report so if someone comes for a bug report then you can do this how do you include this you can just you can literally copy my uh, this git dot github uh, slash uh, issue template folder uh, into the same repository uh, same like root directory and you will get all these issue templates it's that simple so actions and github issues uh, issue templates pr templates are really easy uh, to get include in your project because you just have to copy uh, from uh, the other repository if you want and just paste it you don't have to work a lot of it like write all the yaml yourself you don't have to do that you can just copy uh, it from say suppose my repository and you will be good to go so then this is config so uh, i have added so if you want to like take it to a uh, next level then you can actually add config so uh, you can't create a blank issue so i have created it uh, like false so uh, say suppose uh, I have to create a new issue on your repository so i will get the templates but i will also get an option to create a blank uh, issue so i have just disabled it from here and contact links uh, are these links this is uh, my community uh, so uh, the, this is these are the contact links and after every issue is created uh, this uh, config uh, is used kind of used so i will tell you here so then there is documentation uh, report so uh, say suppose there is something missing in your documentation you can use this template for so that other people can uh, help you find or change the documentation something like that so making it more accessible so doc feature request or other something like that and you can add uh, emojis and stuff tough to that so uh, it like it makes much more sense so for bug you can add a like a bug symbol something like that so if for example if you go here and create like a new issue now we can see uh, bug report documentation request and if i just go with bug report then see it gives uh, my issue this heading the bug and then i have to describe the bug then i have to reproduce the bug how how can i reproduce the bug then expected behavior screenshot video additional context and then some it and some of the uh, these are uh, like required so you cannot actually keep it a blank and submit so i have added that as well and now you can see it uh, automatically adds a bug tag uh, a bug label as well to the issue so that's what the uh, issue template uh, does and i will tell you how uh, like there are much more than the uh, issue templates to the issues section so 
these are the uh, like templates you can follow you can just go to this repository i will link it in the uh, description below and just uh, copy the uh, things and just paste it in your uh, template and it should be good to go uh, the next thing is uh, when you go to issues uh, you can go to labels and actually you can create your own label so uh, i think i have created some labels so if i go here and just create a uh, new uh, contributor uh, accepted uh, right so uh, and then give description as this uh, issue uh, is being worked on by uh, new contributor something like that so you can actually create your own uh, label and then just uh, change the colors and then create a label what is the benefit of this uh, this shows that you know a uh, lot of stuff and helps you manage your issues so uh, the like these are pre uh, made like bug documentation and stuff but you can actually create your own uh, issues uh, issue tags uh, with emojis as well so whenever you are working with open source this is a tip that uh, add uh, emojis uh, wherever possible uh, not too many but uh, like this uh, here uh, it's like new contributor accepted so you can add it uh, like the party uh, popper uh, kind of uh, emoji here and it, it should look super cool and it gives the impression that you are trying to make efforts uh, much more so i will just go here uh, then uh, add a label maybe and we can go here new contributor and it looks much better than uh, before and uh, yeah that that looks good and actually you whenever in, uh, you have created this new tag then you can go ahead into your uh, issue templates and link this new tag so you are uh, this becomes automated so say suppose uh, a new issue is created uh, then you can go ahead and uh, maybe uh, make it to add say suppose see labels here is bug uh, then you can add multiple labels as well so you can give new contributor accepted kind of thing and then it will uh, add uh, a uh, new contributor accepted label every time a new bug is uh, bug uh, is reported so that is a really cool thing you can do with uh, github issues uh, and uh, just like you might feel these are like uh, really small things but these small things do make a lot of change like what, wh whenever you're seeing so if i'm seeing your repository and i just go see the templates and stuff i see the uh, just Aside from pushing the code, you have made such an effort to make your project such accessible and such uh, nice. Even if you are not going to submit the project anywhere, anything, you are just working on your project for yourself. I still recommend doing this because uh, if I some uh, if someone just randomly comes to your profile and visits the project uh, just for that and sees that you are following good practices and stuff, it, this really helps in uh, building your credibility as an open source contributor and might really help you with uh, if your interviews go, interviewer goes through your uh, github repository and stuff that's it for this video uh, in next video we will be seeing about uh, pull requests and what you can do with pull requests so stay tuned with the channel uh, if you like the video do make sure you hit the like button and if you want you can subscribe to the channel as well it really helps support the channel if you want uh, to request a video on a specific feature of github which uh, was not created during this playlist do let me know in the comments below and see you in the next one bye